Welcome back, everybody. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. In today's video, we will be talking about why I think Fortnite is losing popularity and why so many people say that this game is dead. If you go on Twitter, you are going to see that this game is a dead game, and it's not only because of other games that are rising in popularity. I would actually say that is not the main problem Fortnite is currently having or Epic Games is currently having, but we will talk about everything in today's video. If you guys could, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on those notifications as well. And guys, use my code COBESMIND. I would appreciate it so much. I know it's ironic but whatever. Fortnite has many problems it's currently facing, such as lack of updates, long seasons, prize pools, ads, reskins, and more. So the first and most obvious issue, at least to me, and I don't see how people aren't consistently and always talking about this. The lack of updates is what made Fortnite fun in the first place, and I know I've recently talked about this, but I need to talk about it again. Many people would hop onto Fortnite to check out the new items and updates. Many others would go on just to check out the new item shop. And I feel like I have to show you a bad example of a graph, in my opinion, of what is happening in Fortnite. So back in the day when Fortnite was fun, it was unique, it was awesome, there was new updates, this is how it went. So Fortnite was gaining its popularity, obviously going up. Eventually, it started to go down a little bit, but guess what? New update, more players than ever. It would drop down for about a week, then more players than ever with the new update. And it would keep going like this, keep going like this. A new season would bring it up even higher than it ever had been before, then it would drop down a little bit still above that average peak new update again and you guys get the idea just keep increasing like this new season and you guys get the idea and that's how fortnite became so popular but as of right now it seems like it's almost like this no new update no new update no new update new update brings back a few players it's not that good of an update so it keeps dropping down another new update after about a month brings back even less players and you guys get the idea or at least my opinion on this matter so I definitely feel like the lack of new updates and items is definitely one of the main reasons why people aren't returning to this game. And this ties into my next point of long seasons. I feel like you can have long seasons if you have a lot of updates. You can have short seasons if you don't have a lot of updates. But you cannot have long seasons with no updates. It makes the game unplayable and boring after only a month. Maybe you guys really don't realize this, but seasons have been increasing in length ever since Chapter 2 first came out. Epic Games blamed it on COVID and not being able to work as much to provide new content. I don't know how many people realize this, but these lack of updates in the longer seasons happened before COVID. And I feel like Epic got a nice scapegoat to avoid all criticism because of COVID. Now they can say, oh, you know, we've been having a lack of updates and longer seasons because of COVID. First off, I will never give my sympathy to a massive company. I will only expect content if that's what I'm looking for. Epic doesn't care about you. It doesn't care about me as a sole player. So you shouldn't care about Epic Games as a company. And I would say that for every company out there especially companies that are worth billions and billions of dollars. If you want to care about your local neighborhood fast food place or restaurant, feel free. But for these massive companies, I will not waste my time or energy giving them any sympathy or leeway. I will say I was somewhat understanding when COVID first shocked the US, but as we've seen, the NFL, the NBA, and other sports organizations carry on with a new normal. It seems like Epic can't or doesn't want to. The next topic is prize pools. For my competitive players out there, prize pools are at an all-time low. As many of you guys know, competitive as of right now is one of the main reasons why Fortnite stays relevant in people's minds. 
If you go on Twitch right now and there isn't a tournament or there isn't a cash cup going on, well, less people are going to be watching Fortnite, significantly less than if there is a tournament going on. And that's the same thing with a lot of games, but I would say it's definitely relevant for Fortnite. They have totally disregarded prize pools this season. Many competitive players are disappointed alongside their fans. The more money involved in a Fortnite tournament, the harder the pros will try, meaning more entertainment for the viewers and more eyes watching. I think I know why Epic Games has decreased the prize pools and it brings me to my next point, which is Marvel. In this next segment, I titled Ads. Epic Games most likely spent so much money trying to acquire Marvel for this season that they had to cut back on prize pools for competitive. Let me say that Marvel is an advertisement. I don't care if you like it or not, Marvel is an advertisement and that's why I don't like it. And from someone who likes Marvel, let's say you didn't like Marvel. Imagine for a second, I know there's a lot of Marvel fans out there, but what if you didn't like Marvel and it was the only thing in the game? And also imagine, what if you love Marvel, but the next season it's something you don't like and it's another advertisement? This brings up a massive, massive problem. What if next season they bring out something that the majority of the community doesn't like. Even if the majority of the community loves Marvel, that doesn't matter because some of those people who love Marvel don't want it in Fortnite. And the people who don't like Marvel, well, that's all you get. You don't get Fortnite anymore, you get Marvel. I think the main point I'm trying to make is that we like Fortnite, we want Fortnite. As much as I talk Fortnite doesn't like me and I don't like him, he did bring up a pretty interesting point about this topic. Topic. He said something to the effect of when you log on to Fortnite, you're not really playing Fortnite. It's surrounded, it's swamped by Marvel. And I think that sort of ties in with my next point, which is reskins or lack of ideas. And when I'm talking about reskins, I'm talking about more than just Fortnite reskins, but let me talk about the skins first. I feel like we have so many different skins that are so similar to other skins or just outright copied with a different color scheme to the point where we just don't get anything original. And I feel like that may be one of the massive reasons why Epic Games is turning to look at advertisers and trying to get them involved in their games so they don't have to actually think of original ideas. And another massive point that people never seem to talk about is even reskins within items inside of Fortnite. When I'm talking about a reskin, I'm talking about something as simple as a shockwave reskinned into the crash pad. These items are different, but they are very, very similar in the way you use them and how they're used and how they affect your game. Same thing with cars in Fortnite, but I feel like cars are a reskin of ATKs, they're a reskin of golf carts, but worse. I think cars are one of the most unfun items in this game ever to be created, and I think they are worse than previous items we've had before. My least favorite thing Epic Games can do, I guess this could apply to literally anything, but when you're copying something, if you make it worse, that is insanely offensive to me. If you want to copy something but make it better, then good on you. I'm not going to give you that much credit for it since it's a, pretty much a stolen idea, but if you make it better, I'm not going to knock you for it. But if you reskin something or steal an idea and make it worse, that is a crime. It should be cons they should be thrown in jail for that. I don't know if you guys resonate with that point as much as I do, but imagine a Marvel movie being created by another company, but you knew it was Marvel. Everyone knew it was basically Marvel, but they took all the fun aspects of Marvel, they drained it from them, and then they gave you this pile of crap. That's what I feel like a lot of these items are. The shockwaves are better than crash pads. I think that ATKs are better than cars, and it just seems like a never-ending spiral of them giving us worse items we've already had before. 
And I really do think it speaks to the lack of creativity and originality by Epic Games. Maybe, you know, we're going to talk about it a little bit later, but maybe it's because they've already done so much. But the next thing I wanted to talk about is the map. My favorite location is Paradise Palms, but besides that, it's easily the block. The block obviously ties in with lack of updates. It is and should be considered one of the best locations ever created because each week it's different. I remember back in the day, there were so many new updates, so many new items that literally the block was the least of your worries. Even though the block was completely new, it was a completely new location. But now we don't even have something similar to the block where at least you could look to that and be like, hey, at least they made a new location this week. And one of my main problems and why I love the block so much and why I love Paradise Palm so much, all the map is green. And let me get this point across. I don't want the old season back. I don't want the old map back. I don't want anything old back. That is against my points. I don't mind a new map, but just just not all green. An all green map makes me want to tear my hair out because it's like all the things are the same. We need different biomes inside of Fortnite, like a snowy biome. That was awesome. I didn't care for the snow, but it was different. My favorite biome was easily Paradise Palms, which is the desert biome. I love that. I thought it looks so good. We have something like Sunny Steps where it's just so different looking. It's a different biome. Something as simple as a volcano. No, but it seems like Epic Games has totally stripped all that type of stuff away and I don't know why. One of the saddest points I have to make, if I go into Fortnite, I know what to expect. We're gonna expect reskins, no updates, green map, low prize pools, and ads. But before, you never knew what to expect. Maybe it's a lack of original ideas because they've already done so much. They need to ironically stop listening to the community and bring out whatever items they feel will work. As long as we're getting new items, this game will stay relevant in my opinion. I feel like Epic Games finally listened, but they listened too much. Now they don't want to take any risks and bring out items that might upset a single person. You know why I love items like the mechs? I love items like the sword. I like items like the plane. I like the most OP items in this game. It's because it's meant to be silly. It's meant to be fun. I feel like this game has just gotten a little bit too serious and Epic Games needs to step away from competitive and try to focus more so on the non-competitive the casual community we'll see if that ever happens guys I, I would say it won't it will never change and these problems will continue to occur regardless of covid or not i think if you're still holding on hope for any of the things i've mentioned above to change they will not expect more ads expect more reskins expect more green on the map expect lower prize pools expect longer seasons expect no updates man am i pessimistic but guys i do believe it is the truth and i don't think one thing i said here is wrong so if you guys want to disagree with me feel free i will definitely be looking at your comments and reading them because i definitely am curious what you guys have to say if you guys disagree with me that's fine but make sure to drop a like subscribe turn on those notifications as well if you guys would like to see me stream go to my twitch links in the description thank you guys so much for watching i truly hope you guys have the best of days Use my code Cope's mind. Bye, guys.